Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Gen AI 101. Now, in the last video, we discussed how responsible AI can be broken down into three parts. One is the application layer, second is the model layer, and third is the data layer, right? We discussed how to think about responsible AI in the data layer in the last video. In this video, I'm going to focus on the middle of the stack, which is the model layer, and hopefully on the application layer as well and uh, tell you how to think about responsible AI in these two layers of a Gen AI solution. So in a model there, assuming that you are trying to fine tune a model for your own use case, and this is not meant for people who are trying to build a model uh, from scratch. So building a model is it can be divided into three parts. One is pre-training, uh, second is fine tuning, and third is DPO, right? So I'm going to assume that for the people in the audience of this video, which is you know, large enterprise CIOs, you're not pre-training an algorithm. You're basically going to use something uh, which is available open source like a GPTJ or a Llama 2 or even paid models like GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 Turbo, right? And you're going to pre you're going to fine tune those models for your use case, right? So for fine tuning, when it comes to responsible AI, you don't need to do anything extra except what we've already spoken of in the data step. Coming to the third one, uh, that is DPO, which is direct preference optimization. This is basically human alignment. So you want to give feedback to your large language model in a way where it aligns itself more to what a human would want as a response from a large language model, right? So to do that, the most famous technique is RLHF, which is reinforcement learning from human feedback, right? where you're giving it feedback so that it gets aligned to what humans would want to see, right? Now, this is extremely relevant from a uh, responsible AI perspective, right? Because this gives you an opportunity of giving feedback where the instruction following of your model becomes great. Now, why is this important? Instruction following is important because if, let's say, you give some context and we'll talk about context in, in an LLM's context in, let's say, the application layer. But you, whenever you write down something in chat GPT or whenever you give a context to any large language model, you want it to only use that specific context and not go beyond, you know, in its own knowledge base, right? You, from an enterprise perspective, this is very important, right? Let's say you ask a question, okay, what is our revenue, right? So it should take the context of the enterprise and make sure that it answers from within that con context and does not go out. You know, it might have, uh, you know, the pre-training might have been done on, you know, millions and billions of web articles and it should not respond from there. So it is extremely important that you focus on uh, instruction following. So when you do RLHF, when you are, you know, giving human feedback for reinforcement learning, you have to make sure that you have to be very stringent. As soon as it tries to go out of context and break anything from its own knowledge, you have to give it a negative feedback. And if you do that around, like if you give good RLHA feedback, let's say around 10,000 times or so, you know, it kind of uh, makes sure that the model will never do it. So I'm giving you a specific magic number. It's around 10,000 RLHF feedbacks. So if you give proper 10,000 feedbacks and you'll be very stringent as soon as it goes beyond uh, you know, the context of uh, what is given in the prompt and, and it starts going into its own knowledge uh, and you give it a minus one score at that time it's and you give it a very stringent feedback uh, it will kind of make sure that you are taking a huge step towards responsible AI right? so pre-training, fine-tuning, you don't need to do much if you have the right data pre-training you will anyway get from the open source model or the paid model that you're using Fine tuning, you don't need to do much. If your data is, if you do the four thing we talked about, that's fine. And on the DPO or on the RLHF step, when you're doing human alignment, you have to ensure that you're extremely stringent and you are, uh, you know, making sure that it gets instruction aligned. You give it negative feedback as soon as it tries to go into, uh, as soon as it tries to go into its own memory or its own knowledge. You kind of give it a very very stringent feedback so it does not it knows that not to go it has to stay in the enterprise context itself thank you so much for spending your time with me have a good day again and i'll, I'll see you in the next video on the third uh responsible ai in the application layer uh in the next video thank you so much